hello guys welcome back to my channel so today i will be showing you guys how i icing this birthday cake but before i get started make sure you like share comment and subscribe thank you to all my season members and i hope that to all the new members who have seen this video you press that subscribe button so let's get right into this video the first thing i begin to do is making my icing which i use shortening and confection sugar i use um, the, the ratio half shortening to confection sugar so I make my blend and um, you know blend it nicely add my essence whatever essence I want to add and then we move on from there now thing I want to move on to now is get getting down to business icing the cake so the first step I do is to make a border around my cake and this is to prevent the filling from seeping out through the sides. So filling which I made overnight I make this overnight so that it can set for the morning this is pineapple filling and it tasted so good so you want to begin by just smoothing it out over your cake and you know make it making sure it is even throughout the entire cake the next step is to add your second layer now, I think I was handling the second layer too roughly because it kind of broke on the edge, which is completely fine, it is completely normal, sometimes you will have that, especially if the cake is moist and it never had um, a long rest time. So I went ahead, you know, it, it didn't break completely in half, so you put your cake to get, together and you make sure you compress the top of the cake to make sure that you have a nice even flat surface to begin your icing you want to make sure as you go you clean up your edges of your cake you don't want crumbs to be all over the place and get crumbs on the top surface of your icing the next step we moving on to actually applying the icing to the cake now you can use two methods which is to use a spatula and spoon on the icing into the cake or you can use a piping bag with a cake applicator tip. So today I will be using the cake applicator tip which has its pros and cons. Um, one of the pros is that you have a thinner layer of icing. One of the cons is that if you don't apply it properly then your icing can fall off easily. So make sure you get your practice before using this method.
find an even coat of icing throughout the cake. You take your spatula and you smooth out the top and the sides as best as possible. Don't worry too much about how smooth it comes out to because eventually you will be, or I used, a cake coat in order to create even straight lines across the top of the cake and across the sides of the table. Again, remember I was telling you just now about using the, the cake applicator nozzle that sometimes the, the icing does not sit on the cake properly. You just go in, fill in your gaps with your spatula and you move on from there. So this cake is for a birthday and it's gonna be for a male and a female so my client wanted me to make the ha um, half the cake white pink and white and half the cake blue and white so that's where the ruler comes in um, I split the cake down the center to make sure that I have an even even size make half blue and white half pink and white and throw on some yellow roses Now, once you get your cake all smooth, you're gonna take whatever icing you have, your colored icing, and you're gonna do whatever design you do. So today I will be doing the marble effect on this cake. And this is where you incorporate colors into the base color of the icing. So I have white as my base. I'm going to incorporate yellow and blue into this base of white. So the first thing I do is to just pick a few spots on the cake and just apply some, some pink icing on the first side. You don't have to do it a, a specific way, you just want to make sure that you don't cover the entire cake with the colored icing. Just pick a few spots, apply with your spatula, and then to even this out we're going to grab our cake comb and um, do the design. Now whenever you're using the cake comb, make sure you dip it in hot water before because this helps your cake comb to glide over the cake. Because as soon as you work with icing, you will realize that it does dry out at times if you take too long. So that's when you are able to use um, hot water so that you can get that nice, perfect, smooth glide on the top and on the sides of your cake. that we used on the top of the cake and we are gonna do it on the sides of the cake also whenever you you're using the cake comb with every application you make or every glide you make with the cake comb make sure you clean your tip again because you want your lines to be straight and even for every every part of the cake so make sure as you go you clean the the cake comb
any utensil to just fill in whatever gaps that I need to fill in once I go over with my pastry comb. And then once we finish those sides, we're going to move on to the blue and white. Alrighty, so once we have done both sides, we need to add some borders to our our cake. So today I will be I will be using the star tip in order to make a border. So I'll be doing the plat me method or the cornrow method, um, if you might. And I will be doing the blue all around the cake or all around half of the cake, and then I'll do the pink on it. All around the next half of the cake now with the borders I made sure that I wanted a darker shade of blue so all you have to do is add a little more food coloring now whenever you're using food coloring I personally like to use gel food coloring just because if you use um, liquid food coloring it changes the consistency of your icing I didn't want that to happen so that's why I always use gel food coloring Again, the same thing with the pink. Add a little bit more food color in, and you get a darker shade, and you go around your borders just as you did previously. I know that you guys see a lot of imperfections in this cake um, now whenever you're making a cake whatever you're gonna be covering up with designs you don't really have to worry about it so that is why my borders are looking raggedy and jaggedy right now but at the finished product you will see how it all comes together so never feel discouraged you don't have to have your base of the cake as smooth and as neat as possible as long as you know it's gonna be covered up you will be okay.
And another tip whenever you are creating your borders, make sure that it is as even as possible. And you can achieve this by making your borders even as possible by applying even pressure throughout your entire cake. If you add, apply too much pressure and you're inconsistent, then your borders are going to look inconsistent. So make sure you try and be as consistent as possible. a little bit more defined. beautiful pink, white, and blue birthday cake. I added the, ro the roses after. If you guys want to see a video of how I made the roses, please let me know. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, any comments, please leave a comment down below. And make sure you tell your friends, tell your friend friend, and tell your friend friend of your friend um, to come and view my channel. Make sure they subscribe, make sure they like, and make sure they, they share with someone. And until next time, take care.